Good day, Cancer. Welcome to my channel. This is your weekly reading for April 8th to the 14th. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, well, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe Speak, Spirit's Guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Three of Diamonds. Three of Clubs. Eight of Clubs. And, ooh, Queen of Spades. Okay, so, your general energy for the uh, week is the uh, Queen of Spades. Uh, so, there is an instigator, uh, somebody that's resentful and wants to throw a monkey wrench in some plans. Now, I didn't say you or whatnot because you could be the instigator. You could be the one that's resentful throwing something into somebody else's plans. Okay, or this can be somebody doing it to you, but with the card being in this position and being your energy, this could very well be you. Uh, doing doing this and what you need to do is you need to figure out the facts know all the facts even about you and why why are you resentful and and uh wanting to be an instigator in someone's life you know why but this could also be you instigating and being resentful of yourself in some way and uh wanting to throw a monkey wrench in your own plans so this could represent you being your own uh worst enemy right and you need to figure out why. Why would you do such a thing? And if not, then this is somebody coming after you that you need to learn the facts about. And you want to know the facts. Uh, that way, if you confront the person, uh, you will have all the facts. You know, they can't trip you up because you know what you're talking about. Uh, this can also sometimes be a child. You know, children can be uh, instigators very easily and resentful of things. And want to put monkey wrenches into your plans. And you want those facts, you know, because as a child, you want to be able to really lay it out for them and let them know why, uh, you know, this isn't okay or whatever, and why they they are even bothering with it. Um, but if this is you, which I feel like a, for a lot of you, this is you, this is you throwing a monkey wrench into your own plans. Uh, yeah, you need to really uh, think that over why you would do such a thing to yourself. Uh, at the beginning of the week, you have the Three of Diamonds. You need to maintain your business, project, work, whatever it may be, uh, business, whatever business you got going on. You also need to be careful and not get squirrel syndrome and get distracted by shiny things. Now, that would be a monkey wrench. You know, that would be a monkey wrench, uh, being distracted by things. Now, this can be somebody trying to distract you, or this could be you being distracting yourself, uh, you know, with the Queen of Spades being in the position it is. Now, while you're maintaining your business, you also need to appreciate uh, whatever it is that you're doing, you know, appreciate and learn, understand that there's rewards that come with uh, your work, you know, like uh, easiest one I always say is if you're a writer and you finish a chapter, uh, really appreciate that and understand how it's a reward that you have the ability to do such a thing. You have abil the ability to uh, make a chapter in a book or whatever uh, because not everybody can do that, you know, so that's that's what you want to look at when you're maintaining your business, uh, whatever it may be. Uh, that that you can do this and some people can't you know appreciate that uh, but yeah definitely be careful about squirrel syndrome uh, don't go don't go getting uh, distracted and whatnot in the middle of the week well the three of clubs absolute success this card trumps all cards so this even trumps the the queen of spades so regardless who the instigator is or whoever is resentful or trying to put a uh, monkey wrench and plans it doesn't matter because you will figure it out you will you will get the facts you will you know 
get it all situated. Uh, same goes for the maintaining business. You will maintain the business. That's what this card guarantees is that things will go fine. You you won't get squirrel syndrome. They'll probably, they'll probably be like a moment, but you're going to bring yourself back quick enough. Like you might get distracted for a second and then be like, oh no, I got to get back to my, maintaining my business. You know, uh, you might snap out of it and be like, oh, this is me throwing a monkey wrench into my own plans. You know, that will happen. Also, this is fame and fortune, okay, for you. Uh, fame, that doesn't mean they're going to win a Grammy, unless, of course, you actually are, like, somebody that's up for a Grammy, but I highly doubt that on this on this channel. Uh, this just means that you're going to be, people are going to look at you like you're famous. They're going to look up to you like an idol, you know, so you're going to be really seen in a really great light uh, uh, this week. And also, uh, fortune doesn't mean that you're going to win the lotto. I mean, it can. But that's just as likely as you actually win in the lotto, right? Uh, but what it really means is that you're not going to be uh, hurt uh, financially this week. You're going to be doing all right. You know, you're going to have the things that you need. You know, maybe not the things that you want, but with this coming up, you might be able to get the things that you want too. So you're just going to be very fortunate uh, this week. Um, I wouldn't doubt it if some of you uh, find a $20 bill out on the streets while you're walking, you know. Uh, at the end of the week, you have the Eight of Clubs. There will be a compromise at the end of the week. You will be compromising with somebody. And this can be in love. This can be with your significant other. But it can also just be with a friend or a family member or a business partner or something. It's neither bad or good. It is just what it is. Uh, but you need to be careful. Uh, that you don't get the short end of the stick, right? Uh, so be very aware about that. Make sure you're not getting the short end of the stick. But also, when you confront the person about the short end of the stick, uh, do not come at them aggressively, right? You want to come at them cool and calm. Because if you come at them aggressively thinking that they knew they were giving you the short end of the stick, they're going to uh, uh, answer aggressively and possibly... Uh, there will be no compromise, and both sides will actually lose, and it will become a bad thing when it never was either good or bad. Uh, even if you know or think you know that this person did it on purpose, still don't do it, because all, all it's going to do is if you come at them aggressively, most likely the compromise won't even happen, and who knows what that will do to you, right? Okay, uh, that can also be you uh, throwing a monkey wrench into things uh, by coming at this person aggressively, uh, possibly knowing that if you do that, uh, you know, it will ruin the compromise altogether. So definitely be cool and calm. Let's uh, let's see what the tarot cards have to say. Universe speak. Spirit's Guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Okay, and that uh, card is the Knight of Swords. Now, the Knight of the Swords is always looking for a target. He's always looking for somebody to blame uh, for his own issues or whatever and whatnot. And I feel kind of like... This has got something to really do with the uh, compromise here as you kind of like coming at them aggressively uh, when you should be coming at them uh, uh, calmly. And I, I really feel this has come up to, to just remind you not to come at this aggressively uh, because that's you putting a monkey wrench into your own life and your own plans or whatnot. That's, that's how I feel. I feel like this is just reinforcing you uh, not to attack this person, not to make them a target uh, in order for you to sabotage yourself, you know. Uh, so there you go. Really look into yourself this week because you might be instigating on yourself. Uh, make sure to know all the facts about it and whatnot. And if it's not, you know, still know the facts about somebody else before you confront them. Maintain that business, you know, appreciate the rewards, don't get squirrel syndrome, which again, the squirrel syndrome can be you uh, throwing a monkey wrench into your own plans. Uh, absolute success, so even all this that I'm talking about, 
will you know you will do good you will do good at it you will you know think about these things but what i think it is i think that there's a possibility of you doing these things a possibility of you throwing a monkey wrench into these plans and what and this compromise and your business and whatnot uh but i feel like you will you will pull back i feel like you're going to have that moment uh but with the absolute success uh card i feel like you will pull back and you will say hold on you know i'm sabotaging myself i think you really will see it because i really feel for a lot of you this is you sabotaging your own self so there you go i hope this resonates and i hope it helps in some way and if it does hit that like button and if you would please comment share and subscribe i hope to see you back here uh, next week and until then stay safe stay mindful and stay healthy